How you doing? Um, I'm Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery. Welcome to Stop Drinking Alcohol Week 63. On the site this week I did a couple of videos for different reasons for quitting drinking. So there was one on uh, spiritual reasons and the other one was on uh, financial reasons for quitting. Um, also, if you've signed up for the newsletter in the last few days, uh, we've just had a lot of spam, so I deleted a lot of accounts, a lot of subscriptions. You know, they're, they're pretty obvious, the spam uh, subscribers, so they were uh, pretty easy to find. But just in case there was anyone that we that got caught up in the mix, if you've been deleted uh, by mistake, it was a mistake, it wasn't deliberate, so just... Uh, sign up again um, just use your first name with a capital letter in your first name and that's that's normally how they get through this week I wanted to talk about alcohol moderation management and that's basically where you get some treatment you're going to therapy etc etc for uh, trying to moderate your drinking my first reaction to uh, the term moderation is what is moderation um, Big alcohol, all the big alcohol companies want us to believe that there are two types of drinkers. That there is uh, responsible drinking and there's irresponsible drinkers. Um, and therefore those drinkers drink in moderate amounts and immoderate amounts. It's very difficult to know what moderate, what moderate drinking is. You know, there's, there's no two organisations within uh, a country that can agree. Um, international guidelines are very vague. The American Department of Agriculture says uh, two drinks for a man per day, one drink for a woman per day. The uh, American Heart Association says two units of alcohol per day and uh, for men and one unit of alcohol for Women, the National Institute for Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism says no more than four drinks per day and 14 in a week for a man and three drinks per day, no more than seven for a woman. And that's just taking three organization. If I took 20, I can assure you that I would get 20 different results. Near enough to it. And it's not even taken in the floating uh, considerations such as age, uh, size, um, portion size, you know, whether you're having um, a small glass of wine or a big glass of wine. Um, other factors like, you know, whether you're a man or a woman. Uh, the type of drink that you're drinking, um, all that kind of stuff is not taken into account. I mean, if you think about it, for those of you who are still drinking, and you know, if you're not drinking anymore, just remember back, did you ever um, say to yourself while you were drinking, well, you know, that's enough now. I've had my two units of alcohol. Um, it's time to stop. Which brings me on to the second point, why? Would you ever want to moderate your drinking? Um, bear with me here because I think moderate drinking people have a notion about why they want to do it and they think, well, yeah, I definitely want to moderate because I want to still be able to drink. But one of the things that made me stop drinking, uh, made me finally realize that drinking was no longer going to be a part of my life was that I realized that I did drink to get drunk. You know, I didn't drink for the taste. I didn't drink for the bouquet. I didn't drink to be sociable. I didn't drink for any of those other excuses. I drank to get intoxicated. And intoxicated for me was drunk. Now, having said that, I have tried for years and years to try and moderate my drinking. And in all fairness, when times were good, um, when I was very busy at work or 
you know, when there was a lot to do, I didn't have time to drink. So my drinking would naturally moderate itself, but only over the days, you know, it was only happening where I wouldn't drink for, for days on end. A few days would go by. But once I did start drinking and it was time for a session, that's exactly what it was, a session. And because I didn't drink and hadn't drank in a while, uh, I used to go overboard. So, you know, you just, you didn't want to go home then. I didn't want to go back to the house. Uh, it was stay out until you ran out of money or whatever. You know, once, once you start drinking, how many people actually say, well, I've got to uh, be responsible and I've got to moderate my drinking from now on in. Not many people. The uh, third point is, why is alcohol the only drug that anybody ever talks about moderation? You know, nobody ever says, um, you know, you've got to be responsible for, you've got to be a responsible heroin user or you've got to be a responsible marijuana user or a responsible cocaine user and you've got to moderate your heroin use moderate your cocaine use, moderate your marijuana use. It just sounds ridiculous. You know, um, I firmly believe that one of the reasons why this is not the fact is because it's the drug of choice. This is what we do in our society. The doctors and the nurses and the educators and the judges, the lawyers, are all taking this drug. You know, I tried for years to moderate my drinking and I had no success at all. Uh, maybe my methods were, were wrong, uh, but all I could see in front of me was whenever I tried to moderate in a session, um, to moderate and just have a couple, uh, if it wasn't because I was on my lunch break, you know, if it was, I was out with my mates and I was just trying to space out a couple of drinks, it just felt like torture. And it defeated the whole purpose for me. And basically, I thought that my life was, uh, it was just gonna be one long, tortuous effort of trying to control the uncontrollable. Control is in very short supply once you uh, start drinking. You know, once you're in a drinking session, it's very hard to stop. Um, I remember years ago trying to moderate my, uh, my consumption of cigarettes, moderate the amount I was smoking, and I bought those um, low tar, low nicotine cigarettes, and it was, it was just ridiculous. I remember trying to suck and suck on these things and get more um, more smoke out of them when there was, do we, I don't know, there was holes in the side of them or what they were, you know, thicker filter, but it just seemed like my lips used to hurt trying to suck on these bloody things. And uh, I ended up spending more money on cigarettes because I'd smoke more, you know. Um, I mean, it, it's a drug. And any drug is very difficult to moderate. So that's my opinion on, uh, on moderation anyway. Uh, give us a shout if you have any questions at all. If you're not signed up to the newsletter yet, go over to the website, it's absolutely free. And it's always the forum. We're getting more people signing up every day. Uh, more conversations, there's more uh, great stories there. So um, take a trip over to the website and sign up for that. Uh, until next time, I'm Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery. Onwards and upwards.